Okay, in this video, what I'm going to show you how to do is use stopwatch. Um, okay, what we have to do is think about how the stopwatch would work. Now, notice, now what we were discussing earlier in class is that um, each line of code is going to take one instruction cycle, which is a quarter of the um, of, of the processor frequency. Now, to help illustrate this, I'm going to use a tool in the debugger, which is known as stopwatch. So I'm just going to move it a, a little to the side. Now, notice the processor frequency is set here as 20 megahertz. Now, we can change this by going to the debugger and click on settings. And notice we can change it here to make something in megahertz, kilohertz, or hertz range. Now, I'm going to use four because that's the um, size oscillator you have in your lab. I know this is recorded here now as uh, four. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a breakpoint right on this first line of this piece of code here. I'm going to click run, and now it's it gets here. Now notice that the total simulated instruction cycle so far is nine, and that equates to a time of nine microseconds okay and that would make sense because if we we're assuming a four megahertz clock that would mean that a single instruction is going to take one microsecond okay but so far we've reached the first line of the piece of code we have to actually started executing anything that we've done so far, which means that in the background, the compilers inserted some lines of code which came before this that we are not privy to. Okay, so it just so happens that before my code starts to execute in this program, Hitech has inserted nine instructions of some variety in the background. Okay, all right, so I'm just going to go and step over. Uh, whoa, okay. It's gone and taken four whole extra instruction cycles and reached 13 microseconds. Okay, uh, what if I step over again? And we're up to 17. So that means one line of this C code is not necessarily just one instruction. One instruction would correspond to any one of the primitive instructions in the PIC um, instruction sets. Okay, so the um, stopwatch is a very useful tool that allows us to be able to benchmark how long it takes for any program to run. So what I can do is actually I can just put a breakpoint right at the end of this program and then run to the end of the program. And then I'd realize that this particular program takes 85 microseconds to run and that corresponds to 85 instruction cycles. Okay. That's it in a nutshell. Um, I'd like you to probably try using this tool quite a bit and convince yourself um, how long your program takes to run. Okay, take care. Thanks for watching.